How's everybody doing? This is the Biz 1232 here. Welcome to the channel. I have two firearms in front of me, which I'm very excited to share some knowledge about. Up on top here, I have my CZ75 SP01 Tactical. If you watch some of the other videos on the channel, it's my first project firearm, and I did all the work on this myself. All the parts were purchased from CajunGunWorks.com and the guys in Louisiana. Down here on the bottom, I have my CZ75 Shadow. This is fully customized from the guys at CZ Custom in Arizona. Now, primary purpose of this video is to concentrate on the parts that were installed on these two firearms, the work that was done on these two firearms, the cost, and the benefit, obviously. And why would you purchase or go a certain route on either which way? Uh, quickly, to distinguish the two, obviously there are some cosmetic differences. Whereas this is a decocker, this is a safety model. This is a full dust cover, the rail. This is a short dust cover, no rail. This is going to have an extended slide release. So this has a regular slide release. This is going to have a race hammer. It's going to have a custom hammer. Both are going to actually going to have the extended magazine release. This is the 85 style new trigger, recurve trigger with the over travel screw. This is the 85 combat older style with the over travel screw. I have my VZ custom grips. I have aluminum CZ custom grips. This top firearm is going to be equipped with a firing pin block. It's going to be available to most of the consumers. This is going to be a non-firing pin block available only through custom shops, online resources, specialty stores. Um, a lot harder to find, especially in this short dust cover version. Both have the extended beaver tail frame. My SPO one has a beveled magazine well. It's easy custom. CZ75 does not, even though they do offer the 75 SP01 Shadow, which does have the bevel magazine well. Let's see, both firearms are going to be equipped with competition style sights. Both are going to be serrated on the back. Extend it outwards to the rear of the slide. Fiber optic red front. And a very nice sight picture. You'll see a difference in the sight picture here on the left. Very tight. Here on the right, a little bit deeper. And A little bit, a little bit looser on the left and right spacing. So if I can hold these as straight as possible, you'll see what I'm saying as far as the sight pictures go. That's about as good as I'm going to get there. But very similar style. Sights are were purchased from Cajun Gunworks here, and are made by Dawson Precision. Sights on CZ Custom are actually going to be made by CZ Custom, I believe, and installed by them. Let's see. Inside, very thorough polishing by the custom shop. All parts that needed to be smoothed out have a super slick finish 
in professional detail as you can see by the barrel. And I have done extensive smoothing and polishing to the internals as well. We actually chose to polish different areas of the pistol which are interesting to me. Um, I actually chose to polish the slide a couple different contact points where a CZ Custom did not. Um, they did choose to polish their barrel and locking lugs where I did not, but my pistol has seen quite a bit of wear and my barrel is lost all of its coating there on the external area. So, let's see. A lot of these parts are interchangeable and a lot of them are swappable and interchangeable through both of these pistols. Both have extended firing pins. Both have an 11 pound recoil spring. On my pistol that I built, I chose to put an 11 half pound mainspring. CZ Custom chooses to put a 13 pound mainspring. Now again, the main difference is, is that my pistol is readily available in a decocker, which is the tactical version, or the manual safety, which is the SPO1 regular. Readily available to consumers at a decent price. I picked my tactical up for about $650. You can probably get a manual version for a little bit less since it believe when you get it you're paying for the night sights but don't quote me on those prices but one thing that is consistent is picking up a CZ75 Shadow from CZ Custom brand new or anywhere for that matter you're gonna be about 1300 for the full length dust cover or the short dust cover version Now they do offer a CZ75 Shadow, not customized from the CZ Custom Shop. Again, very difficult to find, but you can have a pistol like that around the 850 mark without the CZ Custom job. So with all the parts included, and obviously I didn't pay for any installation because I did all the work myself. 650 for the firearm itself, all the parts that I installed, less the time. You're looking at about a thousand dollar pistol right here. Now minus the grips and the trigger which is something I added in afterwards. So the grips are actually a little bit extra I didn't include that in the price because you don't have to get these grips. Uh, most people will not get end up getting these grips, so I didn't include that in the thousand dollar mark. But what I did include was uh, shipping, so about thousand dollars or three hundred fifty dollars in parts, getting a fully customized CC seventy five B. CZ75 SPO1 or a CZ75 SPO1 uh, tactical as I ended up choosing as my purchase here. You do similar modifications to a CZ75B retro, compact, and PO1 models. Now Cajun Gunworks does offer similar, similar packages to CZ Custom and so does automatic accuracy with uh, Matthew Mink and I hear both of them do fantastic jobs on their pistols but as far as the pur purchase gun I went for CZ Custom complete from their custom shop and new out of the box 
So let's go ahead and compare the triggers because everything else is pretty much going to be interchangeable. Uh, if you had a manual safety model, you can always swap out your safeties. Um, magazine releases like I did, slide releases, triggers, grips, hammers, sights, recoil springs, hammer springs, stainless steel guide rods, all those are going to be interchangeable parts. Obviously some might need custom fitting, some might not, um, but like I said the biggest differences here are the firing pin block equipped SPO1 and the non-firing pin block equipped Shadow. Now outside of the fact that this is a custom gun, we're going to take it for what it is and see what a custom gun, very professionally, <laughs> professionally tuned custom gun trigger is like compared to a do-it-yourself trigger that I personally did myself and a lot of you can duplicate so I already took the trigger pull weight on this one it was uh, rated from the factory well rated from CZ custom factory at eight pounds I got around seven and a half on the double action just very smooth non stacking double action on the single action I consistently had under three pounds very crisp very clean break three pounds Now on the reset, since there's no firing pin block, single action, crisp, your reset is very short. The lack of a firing pin block is going to give you the ability to reset your trigger at a very short distance, right there. So it's at most two millimeters. Very small take up to hit your uh, subpar, sub three pound trigger weight and single action again. Now that's a fully custom, professional grade trigger job. Now, this purchase, do it yourself, consistently had. A six pound double action pull with my polish work. You're looking at a little heavy, and this, to be honest, I am a little heavy right here in the in the front. So slight slight stack right here when comparing it to a custom trigger, which is fully smooth all the way through now I could go back in and repolish this out I'm not going to because I'm actually quite happy with this pistol but I'm looking at a lighter trigger weight than the custom shop so this is a, about seven and a half and this is about six and that's actually from the decocked position so right here you're looking at six pounds. At a full double action, you're looking at about about the same, about seven, seven and a half, with an eleven and a half pound mainspring versus your thirteen pound mainspring. Now, in single action, a little bit different because you have a firing pin block right there. You can see it activated. right there that lever you need to overcome that so you're gonna have a little bit more movement in your trigger to hit your wall but I have a lot lighter single action at about two and a half 2.75 so a little bit lighter than the custom gun again it might be due to the mainspring being a little bit lighter so 
both triggers you're going to be able to adjust your over travel this one has already been done from the shop and my handgun I still need to tweak that a little bit put some Loctite on it and finalize it the reset because of this firing pin block it's a little bit further out no over travel though that's without an over with that's without a screw secondary screw this is just one screw on both of these triggers but about four four millimeters possibly five after the reset so we'll go ahead and show you the difference there so you see how short that is so after the reset on your custom gun very light about two millimeters there before you hit your wall again have your sub three pound break on mine gonna have quite a bit more <clears throat> lighter poundage on the single action but further maybe about four millimeters right there on the reset versus about two so about half the distance on the reset from the custom gun to my gun no travel after the reset though and then got about that three to four millimeter to hit your wall again very light two and a half 2.75 single action pull and reset with the type 2 disconnector from Cajun Gunworks way shorter than it was from the factory so shooting the two firearms guys is uh, pretty interesting I actually shot better groups with my hand-built gun than I did with the shadow gun maybe just because I wasn't quite used to the trigger and how quick this reset is um, both guns are very very accurate obviously both guns handle recoil very well I I'm a little bit more accustomed to my SP1 tactical and the way that it handles and shoots um, I still have to get used to the lighter weight up front here but again guys very similar guns you're saving about $300 here to do it yourself. Um, is it frustrating to do it by yourself? Is it, are you capable to do it by yourself? Uh, that's the question that you have to answer. I was my first time firearm build and I thought it was pretty easy, but I'm somewhat mechanically inclined and um, have played around with, with pistols before, but You're saving about $300 here, more or less, depending on which parts. You don't have to go fully custom here where, where I did and, and go all out with every single part that I installed here. You can actually save some money and, and not do all the upgrades that I did here. Um, but, you know, am I saying that it's not worth the money to get a CZ custom pistol? No, definitely not. This is 100% reliable, no problems, fully worked out from professionals, guys. This trigger is absolutely amazing. <laughs> absolutely amazing. Now, can I get my pistol to this level? Absolutely, 100%. Will I have to do a lot more work on it? Yes, I will. A little bit more money on parts, possibly different weight on the mainspring either one and you can get a way lighter trigger on this you can get a way lighter trigger on this but like I said guys it's all up to you you know is this gun worth $1,300 100% this is an amazing pistol whether you get it in the full dust cover sp one shadow from the custom shop Matthew Mink over at automatic accuracy or K even Cajun Gunworks does fully blown modified firing pin block equipped and shadow versions 
Now, now that those are a couple great options, but if you don't have thirteen hundred dollars to to get a fully custom gun, start out with your base model, about six hundred six hundred fifty bucks, depending on which ones you get, how much where you get it from. Maybe you can find one used. And do the mods yourself, guys. That's all I'm saying. Have a little project. Great pistol. This is a great, absolutely great pistol. Anybody who puts this in their hands is amazed how well this trigger is. Now, that being said, this gun is actually not finished. Uh, there's a lot more modifications that I have in store for this pistol that will probably blow this pistol out of the water. So, um, but definitely guys, either route you go, enjoy modifying your pistol, czcustom.com, great job on your pistol, fantastic shop, get a hold of them, they will make you happy, I promise you. Cajun Gunworks, amazing parts, amazing customer service, great guys over there, and even though I haven't gotten a hold of automatic accuracy, I know that they have a reputable shop, Matthew Mink does an amazing job. I've heard from other guys and their testimonies and I've held their pistols and what an unbelievable pistol from him. But either route you go, all three companies are amazing and do an amazing job on these guns. And for your do-it-yourselfers out there, got a couple more videos to show you. Take this pistol to the next level tune in thanks for watching this video if you guys have any questions on these particular pistols or which route you guys should take hit me up in the comments i'd love to hear your your questions and concerns but shoot straight shoot safe guys